Wipe day. The craziest time to play, but also the most interesting. Not really the best environment for eco raiding. That's because whilst bases may be weak, they haven't had a chance to farm up any loot worth getting yet. But I thought I'd try my luck today and see what I could do in the first 48 hours of wipe day. Would I be able to survive? Would I be able to raid? And would I be able to get rich? Okay, let's do this. Let's go looking for eco raids. So just to clarify, in this video, I'm only going to be doing eco raids. But if I get any sulfur from raiding, I can turn that into gunpowder and then in turn make explosives and do raiding with that. But as I said, it's wipe day. It's going to be manic and I'm really intrigued to see how I do because eco raids, you generally need some peace and quiet and you definitely can't do it when they're online. Or can you? Hey everyone, welcome to chat. Good morning. And just a reminder, I do stream all my content live over on Twitch. So don't forget to come over and say hi. And most of you aren't subscribed watching this video. I can't believe I'm still saying it to this day. Please don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. Don't mind me, I will just hide here. Run. Oh, did the DB win? Interesting. Это я, короче, накопил, я там хату сейчас хочу забрать. Да не, блядь, за что, пацаны? Я же свой, блядь. I'll take this free loot, though. Why would you push me, man? Right, I'm doing kind of good already. And I don't even know where I'm going. I decided to head towards outposts as that's where a lot of people like to go and live. I was hoping there might be a few unfinished bases around there. Here we go. Why do you have an overhang? Thing is though, it has an overhang. Let's say I get in. They'll have another door into the base. I don't think it's, there's any point to that. Raided, my goodness. Re recently raided. What is <laughs> what a start? These furnaces are worth stealing. Oh no, you TP. GG. He got me. It was upon respawn when this base caught my attention. How did you catch me? You weren't next to me a second ago. Why is there a wood door down there? GG. Oh, you live there. Interesting. Now you fuck off. I feel like he doesn't own all the doors. He's dead. Go on, bear. After getting killed by the bear, I expected him to spawn and come out again, but he never showed up. So I thought I'd target his base as my first base to eco raid. He had a lot of wooden doors. There's definitely some bases here worth doing. He hasn't come back. Got wooden door bases here, lots of them. Hey, maybe we should make a base in this area. This area has a lot of juice. We'll throw down a base. I always get told off for not doing this, so I'm doing it.
Lack of stone notes here is unnerving. I chose to build my base quite close to mining outposts, hoping there'd be a lot of PvP and a few more bases to pop up overnight as well. As I said, I'll be doing this for 48 hours. What I didn't expect was to have such a toxic neighbor. That guy just logged on and opened his bunker. We have a base. We'll learn sword and we'll do we'll do an eco raid here. And then um, we'll go down south and do an eco raid. Do those eco raids there. We'll just run down. You remember when you killed me when I was naked? I just had a rock. You remember that? Do you remember that? Oh, wasn't you. I've got some sulfur though. We've got some sulfur. Yeah, life is hard. Yeah, life is hard. I know, I know. I thought you were someone else. I'm sorry. Regardless, he had 487 sulfur, which will definitely help in the long run because we can't farm it. OTC, this is, uh, this is worth stealing. That was worth. Crafting tier one. Okay, we're on, we're on track now. We're on track. Now we need scrap to research sword. Okay, we need... 170 scrap, we got 50. We need 120 scrap, 120. Some stone would be nice. But this guy just opened his he opened his bunker. I heard him log in and I heard him break it. He's a solo, okay, not too threatening. I did a quick farm of the road and then went to recycle at the mining outpost. 104 scrap, we might, will we have enough? We might get enough, we might get enough. This run might give us enough. Yes, we've got enough. Now we need the metal to make the stuff. Last one. Don't get jumped now. Not Now's not the time. Run. We got what we needed. Our base is a shambles. But learning sword, crafting, three swords and a repair bench and a repair bench. And do we have enough? And we have enough metal still. Oh my god, huge. All right, wish me luck. We're gonna eco-raid this guy. Are we saying in through the roof? What are we saying? Or through his, fr his front door? He had, did he have metal door off through the front door? I'm saying in through the roof. This is on a busy server like this. Doing this is freaky. Look at the amount of bags in this area. Can you tell I'm near outpost? That's the way in, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, wh <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck has just happened? We got a gun. Okay, the answer is there is loot. We got two guns. Answer is there's loot. I need to be quick, man. I need to be quick. Wow, what a start. Salt is a bit shit. Both is nice. Low gray is nice. Why did he leave every door open? This guy's a donkey. Oh, that guy attracted my attention all because he hit me with a rock. Killed me, sorry. He killed me when I was farming with a rock. Eco raids nil. Sebi K1. Let's get this home safe before I celebrate. Two guns though. Huge gains. Please tell me he wasn't eco raiding me. Whilst I'd been doing that eco raid, I heard some Yoku shots. He actually was. What a fucking prick. He took one door though, only one door. I knew it was my base. Was he doing this door? No, okay, okay, okay. I don't know for sure, but I have a pretty good hunch that it was my neighbor that did that to my base. And now it's time to quickly upgrade before he comes back. I got the stone I desperately needed there. Let's see if I can make a play with whatever's going on out there. I think someone's deep. Oh, 
honestly, the grim life. server then restarted i thought i'd just quickly show you this so you can see how many people are on the server because i'm getting a bit bored of people going oh let me play dead servers when i rejoined the server i went back to eco raiding and this was one of the bases i'd found down south it looks very open in there This base looks like it won't have much because the outside, but I think it will. Unfortunately, this base was too secure and I just wasn't in the mood to salvage hammer through a metal door just yet. back at base to find this. My neighbor was expanding, but I had no reason to take him on. We hadn't done anything to each other and we we're going to live peacefully. Well, that's what I was hoping anyway. This is interesting. Base. I really want to check that. Need to eco raid this guys. So this is this is the base. This is the base, man. The bunker base. He's got twig there. Right, will I be able to squeeze in? Just maybe. Might have another door though, what do you think? I continued my hunt for eco raids, and as the day was progressing, the server was getting a lot busier. Up to 500 pop right now. Fucking hell, get off your roof. He's literally built a roof to roof camp. All right, our mission for wipe is just to evict our neighbor. We need to get satchels from eco raiding. 
Won't be an easy challenge. Now you're probably thinking, this guy hasn't really done anything for you to warrant this. But I needed a challenge to build up towards and his base wasn't too big. And I could anticipate how annoying having a neighbor like this was gonna be, as you'll soon see. Let's see. You have a big problem now. Big problem. Why do I have a big problem? You're the roof camper. Literally a window facing my door. So I'm guessing he's the one that tried to raid me when I first set up my base. He eco raided my eco raid. I really wanted his saw, but that was going to have to wait. I backed off. Ow. Finally, I get a name. Hi, Preston. He's, he's calling me a clown. Honestly, I don't know why he's so cocky. What has he accomplished? Nothing, right? He's not actually done anything like of worth. Next, e Oh, yeah, I want to check out the base up the hill, didn't I? Let's go. He was on his roof like a millisecond ago. I went to check out a base just up the hill for me to see what kind of base it was and maybe there was a weakness. I would need to get a few eco raids under my belt, otherwise there was no way I could take on Preston. How bad a trap base is this? <laughs> How bad is this trap base? But uh, unfortunately, there was nothing I could eco raid in it. That one is gone. He's annoying me now with his roof camping. I'll poke out the window. I'll fucking put you down. Yo, zero. Awkward that he's decaying. I need to find some stone soon, mate. Oh my god, I could pin him in his base for four hours. His base will decay. How funny would that be? I don't need to eco raid him. I can starve him. Not so cocky now, is he? Where's the old. Oh, you have a big problem. DB is so OP. Not today, not today, bitch. You got the door closed. Yeah, not, today. <laughs> not today, bitch. Not today. Yeah, look, this is what you got. Zero, bitch. Zero. He's so dumb. <laughs> He's so fucking dumb. Now, I'm pretty sure you all agree that I could wipe out Preston simply by satchel raid him, especially as now Sora's joined my team. But I'm going to do this the way I said I was going to do, eco raiding only to get sulfur. Otherwise, I'm going to have to tear his base apart brick by brick. Let's see if I can take him down. Oh my god, the guy's on his roof again. <sighs> Yet another roof camper around my area. And this guy killed me and I had a bean can, which was desperately needed considering I can't make boom yet. Why the fuck was he on his roof? At that very moment. Okay, these guys are getting raided as well.
Unfortunately, the area that I lived in was really scarce in any sort of node or resource, so I couldn't really get metal easily, but eventually I was able to recycle enough to put a code lock on the door so Sora could access my base. You can now access the airlock, Sora. While I waited for Sora to get to me, I heard some commotions. I went to investigate. I just made a huge fucking play. Fuck yeah. Look at that. You say we needed that is an understatement. Um, I can't fully run over to you yet, but uh, there's three people heading your way. Um, Prim. Five diesel, loads of comps. The fuck was this guy doing? Probably going to buy some shit. With my spirits lifted, I went to visit the other roof camper. I wanted him to know that his roof wasn't a safe place to be. Can't see anything. He literally came to the roof to roof camp at night. Ah, it's a special cat and dick. Sora attempted to go deep while I banked the gun. This was a nice little win, and hopefully the guy will think twice next time he goes to his roof. With it still being the first 24 hours of wipe, there weren't that many bases I could eco raid just yet, and the server was popping, so I decided to log off now and come back early. I'd had an okay start, a good first eco raid, but not too much sulfur, which I will definitely need tomorrow. Oh my god, we survived the night. How is that possible? Our neighbors online. <laughs> Brilliant. Base hasn't changed, it's basically a 10 satchel raid still. I went out on my morning farm while the server was a little bit quieter than normal before the rush later, and I saw some eco raids that I could potentially do today. We would need to get some sulfur from eco raids to raid Preston. We just did a successful farm. Got enough wood for three furnaces, let's go. Get that smelting and we'll get some blades. Unfortunately, the first eco raid was a bust. It's like you guys deliberately build with wood on the outside to make me come and try and eco raid it. Stop building your bases more secure these days. That is not what I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie, it's bunkered as well. The second eco raid I tried to do this morning ended up with me dying before I even got started. There was a group active in this area and they weren't going to let me start it. Oh, come on. I just got... These guys will appear in the story a little bit later on. A decayed base had an exposed tier 2, but this base was overlapping privilege, but I realised if I could destroy this twig, I could get it. <gasps> the twig, it was a twig! You fucking legend of a man! Who was that? Mystical Gamer! Fucking Chad! It's broken, but I'll take it. Oh, my neighbor's door camping again. Let's do this eco raid. Fuck, man, we have to try, right? This base had an exposed high foundation, which I believe led in. Oh, I'm fucking awesome, aren't I? Fucking awesome. There's sulfur. Free scrap. And it's a wood frame. Fucking wood frame. Let's go. We need to get this sulfur home now. 
Then we'll look for Blaze. He says as he runs up to the barrel. Fucking Preston, I guarantee you. Guarantee it's Preston. I let myself bleed out so I can find out who it is. All right. Watch me stand up. <laughs> I'm actually going to take this time. I'm going to take a Tommy for protection. The reason I was taking this gun was because I was about to eco raid into the tool cupboard area. And if it was juicy and somebody came along, I want to be able to protect myself. That's, the, that's where I'm going. I oh, know he hasn't honeycombed yet. I'm dying outside his base. Honestly! I don't think I have a way to kill him. I don't think I have a way to kill him. You better raid me first because I'm going to fucking destroy you. Listen. Oh, fucking pussy prick. Coming out naked to loot. I was determined to finish this eco raid. You got no skill. Zero skill. Yeah, from your fucking roof, you nerd. Invite you for what? Just lost all my guns. All right, night time. At least we can do the Zika raid at night. All right, guys. Prediction, will there be loot? Will this be worth it? Here we go. What the fuck? The chainsaw. That is horrific. That is what you call a disappointing outcome. Nearly got a thousand sulfur though, overall. I decided to change my approach and I went to destroy shacks. Oh shit. That's a lot of loot. Oh shit, another tier two. What's the guy doing with all that loot in there? Wow. Okay, the shacks are the way to go. Eco raid the shacks. And we've got 50 more sulfur. All metal, but it's a stone stone wall into the core. He hasn't honeycombed it. Why? I need to get enough eco raids just to just to raid that one wall. All right, here we go. Really? Okay. A little bit of sulfur, which is what I, I do need, but ultimately it's terrible. It was after depositing that loot that I heard some explosions, so I went to investigate. You just killed yourself, Satchelings. What did you kill yourself, Satchelings? Cabbage tools, I'll take that. I mean, it's not great. He's already milked this place dry, but I will take it. These jackhammers are... I've seen better days. How much, how much damage will one Satchel do? Okay. He tells me he's not going to take all my loot. I mean, he didn't take anything from me. My limited GP is being used on this. Oh, he did get in.
I want the tier three. I know, I know. My base is a mess, but we're finally beginning to gather some momentum now. I need to stop jumping when I get shot. I grabbed some more scraps from the base and then I went to farm some wood to see if I could figure a way to get the tier three. Are you an idiot? What the fuck are you doing, mate? Are you like an actual idiot? Oh my god, Scarlet, how have you found me? I depoted again and came straight back. Hey, Scarlet, I got a saw now. Got a saw, I'm happy. I couldn't figure out a way to get the tier 3, so I went looking to see where Scarlet lived, and the base I'd eco-raided earlier had decayed a bit. It's still sealed. Hold on. Okay. Right, nothing to get excited about. 50 sulfur, that's, that's important to us. Auto turret, yes. Auto turret will be huge for us. Yet still no sulfur. But I stuck to my goal of only eco raiding to get it. Molitov. Tier two. What are you doing with a tier two in here, mate? 400 sulfur. Loot is so random. That night, I went to recycle all my components, and this is what I got. Um, let's see if I can buy explosive ammo or something. I want to send explosive ammo for 350 sulfur. 300 sulfur. Then, with the help of my stream, we had an idea on how to get the tier 3. Let's see if it works. Fucking hell. I didn't even know that was up there. Box of DBs, do we want it? Go on. <gasps> You're a fucking genius. No! You're a genius. Give it to me. Oh, wow. I can learn med. Woo, tier three. Hey, things just suddenly took a great turn. Getting sulfur is now going to be our mission. Now Sora was here with me, we started molly raiding bases everywhere. Oh, wow. Tier two as well, boys, with the server. 169 GP. Bean can. Oh, a sulfur. A thousand scrap. What the hell? <laughs> a thousand scrap. What's this kid doing? Catty. It's, it's like it's like you always say. Oh no, why would it raid it? There's no metal door on it. I wasn't even gonna do that base until you suggested it. Sora Sora loves a random eco raid. I hate them. But I love I, 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 I do I love them. A thousand scrap. Have you seen how much scrap we've got? By this point, we'd just about got enough gunpowder to make ten satchels. It was tight, it was all our resources, but we were doing it. Oh my god, Sora. What? Three, four, five, six, seven. I think we have enough. I'm going to research saw real quick. Bring that in. Hey guys, how'd you say you're rich without saying you're rich? <laughs> you're fucking dick. <laughs> I love it. I started sorting and base crafting some guns and repairing for the raid while Saw went out and roamed and he needed my help. Oh, you're on that base there? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a way you're getting uh, something over to me to break STC? Yep. You can go deep, you know, do it. 
Oh, was he two boot doors, wasn't he? Yeah. Got it. I'm Mark. I'm Mark. I'm not. Got a battery. Should I go to depot? No, fuck. I'll just come over here. Okay. We needed the battery to power the auto turret. That way we can be protected when raiding. Don't shoot at me next time. Oh my god. Oh, so I have to go to base. I mean, an in, basically, basically an image of wood that had to be done. We were now ready to raid. Surely this wall didn't lead into core. Surely he's not that stupid, right? Right, Sora. We have a turret. And it's turned on. Oh. Right, I'll make you some meds. We're going to throw 10 satchels on this base. On, the, on fucking Preston's base. Oh, this one? <laughs> I think that is on go. I think you fucked him by belting there as well. You think? No, because yeah. no, because he just never finished building it. I told him I'd fuck him. He's taken this long because I've had to eco raid my way to get the sulfur, but we got there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know where he is. Seth. Nor do I. Nor do I. He's right. Ah, oh, I see him. He's on the right, uh, 330. I can't see him. I need you to... Oh. Front door's open. Okay. You heard him there, didn't you? Yeah. Give me your AK, bitch. Oh, no, there's two. No, no. Uh, uh, he's reloading, he's reloading. Yeah, I'm healing, chance. I'm healing. Damn it. Ah, uh, I'm on my far back. Fuck me. Got him! Nice. Get all that shit and run. Don't forget, Seb. Oh, yeah. 300 scrap as well. I wonder why I never upgraded that. How many jackets? That is half full. That is half full, yeah. Members too. Yeah. Feel where. I'll push this just. You got scrap on you, don't you? On the left, on the left, on the left, on the left. He's dead. Nice. Yeah, dude, but I don't know we need it. I'm taking the scrap off your body. Now you go. Sip. Push another one. That was that was me. Oh, your name tag did not show. Naked. The rock system here. The chads. Oh! Hit him in the head. I don't know, he hit me in the head. Killed him. Killed, I, I killed him naked, I don't know if that's him. Killed one. Yeah, these guys, they live in a, a base. Um, N, N11 shop. You know the shop? See the shop in N11? That's where they live. Yeah, yeah. Expect a raid. They're quite chatty. There's an axe. Um, There's an axe in my back. Yeah, that's pretty genius. He's so annoyed, that guy. Don't, don't shoot him, outpost timer. So we bought loads of jackhammers in preparation for our eco raid. There we go. Nice. The guys that we just got all these guns from dominate this area. So we upgraded the base before continuing with the eco raid. We still have the turret protecting us. Something tells me this eco raid won't be the easiest eco raid in the world to do. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you dead? Yeah, I'm dead. You don't know where from, right? They got MVG. No, they have MVG. 
He can get to my body, be aware. And get to your body. He dead. Once we get in there, we should be safe. Yeah. The other attack will protect us. You're so bad. The same people, night visions as well. As daytime hit, we started the eco raid and we went with lesser guns just in case because we were sitting ducks. Torch. No, 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 good. There's a guy right outside our base with a gun. He's pushing towards us. He just delivered me um loot. Ingborg. Ingborg. <laughs> but, oh my god, fuck you, Preston! It all opened up. Your base is horrifically designed. Engine that chest plate. Look, we're gonna check. Got some jackhammers airdrop. We got two satchels. Here's a guy's door, Seb. Here's a guy's door up here, but it's bunkers, fuck. Thousand more sulfur. You good? Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, right? This guy was a prick. From this point on, we snowballed hard. We were filthy rich. All these boxes are full of loot. It was an insane 48 hour snowball. Guys, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Thanks. See you next week. You're fucking deaf. <laughs>